1936 proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PF 66 plus by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1936 proof quarter has the lowest mintage in the entire proof Washington Quarter series. This also happens to be the first year in which proof Washington quarters were struck. PCGS reports 15 specimens in MS66 plus grade with guiding price of $2,750. MS67 specimens are scarce while MS68 graded proof quarters are almost unheard of, with just single specimens certified by PCGS so far. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,170. Number 7. 1941 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded as MS66 Red, a desirable double dye variety with the strongest spread on the 4 in the date and the Burr in Liberty. Cherry Pickers lists three DDO varieties for the issue, and FS101 is intermediate between FS102 and FS103 in terms of importance. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $2,160. Number 6. 1924s Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS64 read by PCGS. According to NGC, the widely hoarded from circulation 1935-60, as were all S mint scents, this issue is very scarce and all grades higher than very fine. Mint states survive in smaller numbers than for many other issues of the 1920s, and fully red gems are exceedingly rare. This elusive example ended up selling for $3,600. Number 5. 1956 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, from a mintage of more than 44 million pieces, the 1956 Washington Quarter is readily available in high grade, but the issue becomes scarce at the MS67 grade level, and finer coins are virtually unobtainable. PCGS has graded only three coins in MS68, with none finer, while NGC has graded five examples in MS68, also with none finer. This spectacular MS-68 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and attractive highlights of lime green toning. This specimen was sold for $5,280. Number 4. 1918 Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS-67 read by PCGS. The 1918 Lincoln Scent, struck in the final year of World War I, claims a prodigious mintage of more than 288 million coins. However, the coins circulated heavily and the issue is quite elusive at the MS67 grade level, with a red designation. This delightful superb gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements and the virtually pristine original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $6,300. Number 3. 1949D Franklin Half Dollar graded as MS67 with full bell lines. The 1949 D. Franklin half dollar is plentiful with full bell lines, although most such coins grade no finer than MS65. The issue is elusive in MS66 full bell lines, and the finest pieces known in this strike category are a single MS67 full bell lines coin at NGC and one other at PCGS as of November. Frosty luster glistens beneath russet gold toning that is deeper on the obverse and lighter on the reverse. The strike is sharp, and each side displays pristine surfaces. It was sold for $7,800. Number 2. 1912 S. Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS66 read by PCGS. From a smallish mintage of 4.4 million pieces, the 1912 S. Lincoln Scent is a better date in the popular series. With red surfaces, the 1912 S is a collectible issue in grades up to the MS65 level but specimens in MS-66 are condition rarities. This spectacular premium gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements, and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $10,200. Number 1. 1913 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to NGC, the combination of a relatively high mintage and a higher than usual survival rate with red color has made the 1913 Lincoln proof the most readily available of the matte slash satin proofs in high grades. The boost in proof sales may be explained by the debut of the new Buffalo Nickel, as the 5-cent piece was not sold singly but rather as a component of the silver or minor proof sets. 
This specimen was sold for $84,543.75 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to hit thumbs up before you watch another video. Stay well and God's will, see you in the next episode.